This is the first video in the RapidML series, introducing you to the essential concepts and features. In later installments, we'll dive deeper into the language syntax and design patterns. Represent API Studio is an API design and development platform with built in support for two modeling languages Swagger OpenAPI and RapidML. RapidML is a powerful open source API definition language that puts structured data modeling at the center of API design. RapidML promotes domain driven API modeling by defining a shared vocabulary of data types within a bounded context. When all your APIs speak the same ubiquitous language, clients and services don't need to translate message representations. The result? APIs that are easier to comprehend and faster to integrate across your ecosystem. The RapidML approach to developing RESTful APIs starts with the data types we're going to base the API on. These data types can be shared across APIs and should describe the business domain naturally. We then design an API that exposes resources based on these structured data types, adapting each type to the specific needs of the API, a process that we call realization modeling. We can define data types in the same rapid file as the API model and or import them from an external model. The data model imported here has data structures describing tax filings and tax payers. RapidML data structures have primitive properties like these here, and reference properties that refer to data structures in this model or from other imported models. This property is a reference to the person data type describing the taxpayer associated with each tax filing. The resource API defines resources for tax filings and tax payers. Each resource is bound to a specific data type defined in a data model. There are two types of resource. Collection resources represent a set of objects of a given type, and object resources represent an individual object of a given type. This API defines four resources. There's a collection resource and an object resource for both the person and the tax filing data types. The tax filing collection resource allows the client to get a list of links to tax filing objects. The API consumer can traverse these links to get details for each tax filing in the collection. The resource URI for the tax filing object has a template parameter bound to the tax filing ID property of the tax filing data type. We've specified that the resource will support these media types, and we've defined a couple of methods. For reference properties, RapidML uses convention over configuration to choose an embedded or linked representation by default. So, the taxpayer reference here is a hyperlink because the API defines an object resource for the person type. But you can override these defaults explicitly to realize a reference as an embedded structure instead, which is what we would get if there was no person object resource. Or, you can have a hybrid, a hyperlink decorated with some properties of the target resource. Such decorated hyperlinks allow API clients to get some information about the target resource without having to traverse a hyperlink, which is useful when populating HTML tables, for instance. This is just one example of the benefits of realization modeling. Now, I'll add a property set to the person object that includes properties we need to constrain and excludes properties we don't need in this API. Note how the excluded properties disappear from the diagram view. I'll add a regex constraint to taxpayer ID because, in the context of this API, taxpayer ID needs to be treated as a social security number. In the underlying data structure, the cardinality of the taxpayer ID, first name and last name properties is unspecified and therefore defaults to zero or one. I'll make each of these properties required in this context by overriding the cardinality in the property set like this. RapidML includes generators for the same interactive diagram and documentation formats that you see in the live views, and they run in any modern browser. 
you'll also find generators for message schemas, common API description formats including Swagger, and Java implementation code. You can generate other service implementations and client libraries via the generated Swagger spec, like this. As we've seen, RapidML enables reuse at the domain level. Each API has its own schema, but they all conform to the same shared data model, making them highly interoperable for client developers. Defining shared data models is easy, and reusing them in an API is finally a pragmatic choice, because realization means flexible coupling between the API and the domain model. To learn more about RapidML, check out the API Studio help menu and visit rapidapi.org.